Well, as the November election inches closer, tonight candidates from several state house and Senate districts gathered to discuss a number of hot button issues like women's reproductive rights and voting access. But there was one topic that really took the spotlight during the forum at Aquinas College. Our Matt Wickles joins us live from there with some of the highlights. Matt. Yes, Jamie, organizers spent a lot of time focusing on asking questions about climate change. Now, a lot of the candidates getting their opportunity to answer those questions in regards to what their thoughts are about climate changes and what they would like to see be done about it. Now, most of the candidates that were here at Aquinas College were Democrats, with the exception of one Republican and Libertarian candidate. I'm a, I'm a rhino, they call me. I got booed at my Republican convention twice. Um, a rhino is Republican, independent, no one owns, and that's my new definition of rhino. <laughs> Michigan Senate District 29, the one and only district to have all of its candidates to show up to Tuesday's forum. We have responsibility to ensure that we're doing the best that we can uh, to hand off uh, a state that's in really good shape. A table of seven potential West Michigan lawmakers, five of them Democrats, and one each from the Republican and Libertarian Party. Michigan League of Conservation voters say they asked candidates from Michigan Senate District 30, House District 81, 83, and 84 to attend. Climate change doesn't have no party affiliation. Climate change is happening as we speak. So this is not about whether a candidate is Democrat or Republican. The almost three hour long discussion at Aquinas College focused on climate change and clean water. We have a lot of um, think climate projects in the works in the Grand Rapids area with the Restore the River, um, with the Sustainable Business Park. You know, we're looking at, we're putting into place here in the next couple of years. So. Still, organizers did ask about where each candidate stand with the 2020 election. All of them in attendance agreed with the results. Really worried about the fate of our democracy, and unless good people being quiet on this issue is not sufficient, it is betrayal. We have to be willing to talk about the importance of free and fair elections, that we had a free and fair election in 2020. Around 100 people took what they heard from the candidates. It's like we've had a long night together. Nonetheless, this is democracy in action, so thank you for participating in it. I cannot wait to go and be the state representative in Lansing for this community to again give Wyoming and that area of Grand Rapids a voice to help solve some of the major issues that are facing our community. To make their decision on who they want to vote for in the November's election. Uh, the reason I'm running uh, Libertarian is because I believe uh, our right to liberty is uh, under assault by both sides of the Democrats, so I'm not running on either party. Now, to white, tonight, one person did ask about Proposal 3, where the candidates stand on it. Now, there was uh, mostly Democrats. They did say they supported with a Republican brand candidate who said that he would rather he believes in pro-life and believes there should be exceptions for rape and incest. Petzold says a topic should be a community-based decision. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitcoast, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you, Matt. Well, taking a look at the candidates from the districts who weren't able to make tonight's forum, they are Mark Heisinger in the 30th District for State Senate, Lynn Affendolz in the 81st State House District, also Lisa Deckreiger and Libertarian candidate Alexander Avery from the 83rd, and Mike Milanowski Jr. from the 84th District State House race.